We just got home from my son's baseball tournament and I have spent the entire weekend doing everything I could to kind of distract myself from the fact that I'm having surgery tomorrow. Um, I'm excited and I'm really nervous at the same time. So this is kind of a big thing for me when I was having my uh, duodenal switch I wasn't quite this nervous and I think it was just that I anticipated the results and that I just felt like I was prepared um, I had spent so much time making sure that I knew how to eat and um, you know how to live the lifestyle that I needed to live in order to lose the weight and I did I w that was very successful and now having plastic surgery to remove the excess skin on my abdomen um, and lift my breast um, it's a little bit different and so I'm nervous and I I think that the nervousness comes from being um, okay maybe it's because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I see imperfections in things and as though I can accept them in other things some things I cannot and symmetry is such an important thing for me and uh, design was a part of my background. So I think that I'm just worried that I'm not going to be happy with my outcome. And I have an absolutely fabulous, fabulous doctor. So I have no reason to worry. I feel like I'm in great hands. Um, I've seen some of his work and he does a great job. But I think that, um, I think that for me it's just the fear that it's not going to be everything that I hoped for. Um, I know that he can't do everything. You know, you, you can't lose 245 pounds and um, expect everything to be exactly perfect. I'm not going to have a new body of a 20 year old or something. Um, I have to accept that I have the body that I have with all of its imperfections and I think that being a perfectionist it's hard for me to accept the imperfections in myself so I'm a little bit struggling with that today or this weekend or lately in general I've been struggling with this so in less than 24 hours um, I'll be in sur have been through surgery probably I'm expecting that um, I may actually be out of surgery by this time tomorrow or nearing the end of my surgery. Um, and so it's excitement um, in the anticipation of it, nervousness in the fear of everything that's associated with it. All is part of the journey, right? We have moments in time where we're thrilled. We have moments in time where we're terrified. Moments where we feel like we know and have everything at hand, in hand, and other times when it feels like everything has fallen apart. Well, I don't feel like I don't feel like everything has fallen apart. I just feel this sense of a new journey, a new step things are going to change. They're going to be different. I've had this belly since I was probably five years old. I mean, I remember my grandfather, um, not just one of my grandfathers. It wasn't, well, anyway, I remember one of my grandfathers picking on me about my weight. And um, other people picked on me about my weight too. And I remember it being that young that I was being picked on. And I remember having the belly. And as I grew up and everybody else was wearing the cute bikini panties, I couldn't do that because my belly kind of interfered. They wouldn't, they just didn't fit. And so now I know that some of that will change. I'll be able to, now, now I'm not doing the surgery just so I can wear fancy pants, by the way, but what I'm saying is, is that belly was a part of me for so long and now things that it kept me from doing, be it something as simple as wardrobe um, or in the whole anxiety of relationships with other people, um, in jobs, either applying for them or as an excuse for not getting them, all of that stuff. 
I, I'm basically making a choice to say that I'm done with all of those excuses and to embrace a new world of opportunities and possibilities. And I think that that just weighs a lot, you know? Not weighs a lot, but it weighs a lot on a person. And I'm prepared for that. I'm just preparing for that too. <laughs>